Uh, thank you for watching these videos and today I will walk you through the process of learning how to create your first email campaign using MailChimp. MailChimp is an all-in-one marketing tool that allows you among other things to run campaigns or email. So what are the main characteristics of MailChimp? You can collect email through MailChimp by implementing forms that you can embed in your website. You can design and create your email campaigns with very simple to use tools. You can uh, measure um, how your campaigns uh, perform based on metrics and uh, very good and easy to understand uh, reports and indicators. And most importantly, you can send bulk emails, means that you can send the same email to multiple email addresses without being penalized by um, the email services such as Gmail, for example. It comes with a free version that you can improve by um, switching your account to a paid version. Okay, so without further ado, let's start with the uh, process of setting your MailChimp account. So let's go and sign up for free. The first uh, step is, you know, creating your account. And to do so, you have to get an email, username and password. I'm going to speed up so we can move on quickly. You will receive confirmation email. Let me see if I got it here. Yep, you can see it here. Just activate your account. Continue free. First name. Now, uh, if you don't have a business name or you don't have uh, already a brand you're working with, you can just make it up for, for this purpose, okay? So I'm just gonna use my first name and last name and I'm gonna fake a name and I'm gonna... Then you can, you can again use your own um, address. MailChimp automatically will ask you what is your main goal, right? So for this one, I'm going to just work with grow my list of email subscribers. Okay, just next. For this uh, part, um, MailChimp will ask you if you already have a subscriber list. You can definitely skip, ask you for a website URL. If you if you don't have to skip, just finish. So now we press let's go. So once you are here, you will start seeing this side menu where most of the options for this platforms are we're going to go to audience all contacts and as you can see here my name is already here so now we have to um, add our contacts and we have two ways to do it first you you can do it one by one so to 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 add one contact you can just go here go through the this you know form uh, complete the fields and you will be able to add this new new subscriber uh, that is one way to do it uh, for us uh, for me at this time will be through um, a CSV file So I'm gonna go here Upload a file and continue. You're gonna have to look for those contacts. I have my uh, course student list here I'm gonna open it continue to organize I'm going to just keep them in the status of subscribe means that they obviously are, are, are um, I have the, their permission to to be subscribed in my email list continue to talk and here you can select you know tags for um, your to identify characteristic of your audience so um, we're going to continue to match now and as you can see here the system automatically recognize the email address right but this one is unknown for the system so we have to um, inform so by clicking on the top column you will be able to select the type of information so i'm going to just put it as a first name and just confirm and then just finalize the import and you can complete the import all right so you can view how your list look, look like now that we have our our email list, the next step is create a content these people will receive. So we're gonna close this window of audience and we're gonna move to campaign. So you're gonna go here and you're gonna press the create campaign button. And you have some options, right? You have the regular email, 
we have the automation system and we have the landing page in this uh occasion we're gonna work with uh, just the design email yeah there's two type of uh, email builders for this uh video we're gonna go with the classic builder okay so you automatically are taken into this uh layout section or the template uh, section where you can see some uh, basics uh, layouts. So for this example, I will go with the basics and I'm gonna start to creating my own email campaign. This is the uh, interface or platform where you can start dragging and uh, dropping your uh, you know blocks here into the uh, artwork, right? So as you can see here, you have uh, different blocks and uh, sections and um, you can edit them by clicking on the pen tool you can duplicate it by, you know, clicking here, right? Duplicate button, you can duplicate it or you can delete it by clicking on the garbage bin, okay? You can delete it, confirm, and you will delete this, okay? Uh, the system automatically fill this um, footer section with the information of your account, so you don't need to write anything here. And then you have text and uh, first the logo. So let's try to uh, figure out how it works. So here I'm going to try to edit my logo. You can see that um, there is a kind of thumbnail there that I want to change for my logo. So by clicking here on this pen, you'll be able to see this um, tool, right? And here you can see that uh, some options are being shown. And I'm gonna replace this, okay? You can start uploading your own media, your own files, okay? Open, and automatically my logo is placed on top. Now, this is too big, so you can use this slider to uh, decrease the side of your logo, okay? and when this is done i'm just gonna save this and close and that is the first section of my email which is the header uh, now i can uh, if i want to delete this i don't want to work with this you can just you know use the garbage bin or just keep it and you can drag let's say an image here okay and you will see now different sections that so you have the header the feature um, and body and footer, right? So I'm gonna place this image in the body uh, section and automatically you will see uh, this option. You can browse images, you can uh, use the creative assistant. Uh, you can manage it from here, but I would like to do it from this side because you have different you know, uh, sections here as well, like tabs to modify your, your content. So upload images have this folder again okay i'm gonna use this one okay here and look this automatically the system is telling you this image is too big right so you can uh, you can fix it you know within the system within the 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 the, the, the software and by clicking here let's fix it you will see a built-in Kind of tool to modify the size of your 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 pictures the system automatically will adjust the size of the picture so you don't need to do anything it's just opening this and pressing save and this is something that i like but this is you know matter of you know preferences you can go here to setting and i like to go with the entire image from edge to edge and this is done the first part so now I want to get some text. So this is the thing. You can use this one, repurpose this one. I'm just going to eliminate this one and break my own text. So click here on this text um, block and drag it down to your email uh, artboard. And here you can start changing the text uh, as you want. So I have title here and so you have the title and text you can modify the title in this um, block editor so you can you can bold it and make it bigger if you want or give it style like I'm gonna use a h2 
so it's gonna be bigger okay and uh you can change the color here as well i'm gonna use this one interesting thing here is that um you can add some uh, let's say buttons here as well underneath this and you can create your call to action like book now and select what kind of action you want people to take so here we're gonna just um write something and yeah save it i want to make it match with my um, folder and the uh, um, titles yeah that's it basically you can you know full white if you want or make it just you know fit to text i like the full white and i'm gonna just leave it as it is okay that is one part now uh if i want to add a new section let's say that i'm going to try to work something different here i can just bring another image on top of my body and upload another so i'm going to use this one it's a kind of um tag line and then i'm going to add another image here upload it and i have this one I'm gonna make it smaller all right and I'm gonna add another text underneath here and, and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger I'm gonna go with h3 got it and now I have the two sections of my of my email campaign let's go with another section yeah, another section would be uh, idea to have is uh, having some features of this car. So um, I'm gonna create something quickly so you can see how how to how to use a different type of uh, tool here. So I'm gonna use the image blast text uh, tool to create two columns. So go here to settings. You will see one or two images. I'm gonna select two. Then you can give. A different orientation to this I like uh, this one actually go to content and you can upload your images okay so go here and upload it I have the engine and for the second you can see the second row is here I'm gonna upload the um, gear okay upload and yeah I think we are almost done Sorry. okay um, I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna use the same one for the other one just for the, the example Go to row one and there you go so we have another section so this is an email campaign a very basic one okay and to do this one we are using the uh, classic builder that comes with mailchimp you can also modify the footer or settings here you can so yeah you can modify the configuration here I like to use this one or this one is good as well and um, you can you know modify the content by using your own social media platform platforms once uh, your campaign is ready you can uh, just press continue and you will see your basic information for your email campaign you will see the most important information here then the subject line this is something that we have talked about before and um, it is very important because it is probably the first and, and, and only thing that your customer will see if your subject line is not good it'll be the only things that they might see if they pay attention to subject lines we have said it should be very concise to the point it should come with some uh, 
hook, right? That easily call people attention. Uh, a unique value proposition could be, um, and always uh, if you can play with emotions, would be nice. We 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 can use emojis, and it, in this um, in this action or in this in this exercise, um, we can we can try to create something like this amazing. This guy. Okay, so there we have our subject line and um, our preview text. Okay, saved, and we're almost done. Okay, finally, uh, we never, never should send an email without testing it. Okay, without making sure that it works well. So we're gonna edit this again. And you will see that on top we have a option that says uh, preview okay and uh, you can enter the preview mode and see how it looks right for uh, desktop mobile you can close it there and then you can go and send yourself a test okay and I will receive this email in my account Okay, you can see that the email is here and this is how this is how it looks yeah pretty good okay so let's go back to MailChimp and last uh, thing that I would do is you know check your clicks or sorry your uh, links so you can see it highlights the areas where you have clicks so when you put a uh, uh, book now it shows you that you will be sent to uh, massa.ca. You click here, it should be open. Yeah, that website. Pretty good. It, it is working. Works well. We are ready to go. Continue. And now you can just give your campaign a title. It's going to be master uh, two campaign campaign save um, and here you can edit the um, URL master two and this is the thing you can schedule your your email to be sent specifically a you know day or time of the day or you can just send it right away all right that's it um okay thank you for watching if you have any question just leave it in the comment please uh subscribe uh if you feel like this is a good type of content you want to uh, share with others and yeah see you in the next video